Some aircraft are sleek, fast, and built for speed. Others, they're built for pure, unrelenting destruction. Meet the A-10 Thunderbolt II, better known as the Warthog. It's ugly, it's tough, and it's the most feared ground attack aircraft in the skies. Today, we're diving into the legend of the A-10, the plane that refuses to die. The 1970s were a time of military evolution. The U.S. needed a dedicated close air support aircraft, something that could fly low, take a beating, and obliterate enemy armor. Enter Fairchild Republic, tasked with designing a jet that could do just that. The result? The A-10 Thunderbolt II, named after the legendary P-47 Thunderbolt from World War II. Pilots and troops on the ground had a different name for it, the Warthog. The A-10 isn't just an aircraft, it's a flying tank. Its airframe is built around the GAU Avenger, a seven-barrel Gatling gun that spits out 3,900 rounds per minute, each round capable of shredding enemy armor. And if that wasn't enough, the cockpit is wrapped in 1,200 pounds of titanium armor, nicknamed the bathtub, designed to keep pilots alive even when taking direct hits. The beast can take damage, keep flying, and still deliver a knockout punch. The Warthog proved this worth in Operation Desert Storm, where it destroyed over 900 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 military vehicles, and 1,200 artillery pieces. It became the ultimate guardian for ground troops, loitering over battlefields and delivering devastating firepower. But it wasn't perfect. Its slow speed made it vulnerable to enemy air defenses, and over the years, the Air Force has tried to retire it multiple times, yet, every time they try, the A-10 proves it's still needed. Flying the A-10 isn't about speed, it's about precision, endurance, and guts. A-10 pilots are some of the most skilled in the Air Force, trained to fly low and close to the action. They're the ones who hear the desperate calls from the troops on the ground and respond with overwhelming firepower. And when they unleash the Avenger cannon, that's the sound of rescue. Despite its legendary status, the A-10's future is uncertain. The Air Force has pushed for its retirement, arguing that newer aircraft like the F-35 can take over its role. But ground troops and military experts disagree. Nothing can replace the Warthog's ability to loiter over battlefields and deliver precise, devastating firepower. For now, the A-10 remains in service, upgraded with modern avionics and weaponry, proving that sometimes, old-school brute force is still the best option. The A-10 Thunderbolt II isn't just an aircraft, it's a symbol of resilience, power, and the unwavering commitment to protecting those on the ground. It's been called outdated, obsolete, and unnecessary, but time and time again, it proves that it's still the king of close air support. Until something truly better comes along, the Warthog will keep flying, keep fighting, and keep proving why it's one of the most legendary aircraft ever built. If you love this deep dive into aviation history, hit that like button and subscribe for more incredible stories from the skies. What do you think? Should the A-10 stay in service? Or is it time for something new? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Space Extra, out.